Okay, the next extra we're going to focus on is the custom stage builder, which, again, this is probably not going to be a terribly long video, but uh, it will kind of lead into the, I guess, the group brawl portion, or the group brawl extra that I want to show off. Uh, but basically, Super Smash Bros. Brawl did introduce a custom stage builder, and uh, I do like the idea, but uh, here's the problem with, I believe, the stage builder, or at least in at least in my opinion, anyway. I feel like it's actually really, really basic, and not necessarily in the best way. Uh, so let's go ahead and just pick, like, for example, a large stage setting here uh, for background. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this uh, castle background. Uh, for songs, uh, just for fun, let's go Metal Gear. Do I still not have Calling to the Night? I do not. Okay, well, whatever. We'll put Snake Eater, I guess. Actually, because we are going Snake Eater, let's go with this area then. So yeah, you basically pick the uh, options, and you, I think, get launched into the stage right away. Oh, no, you get launched in the editor. So yeah, this is the editor. You can basically make anything you want in terms of what they give you anyway. So, let's see, we have these blocks, let's just do, oh shoot, is there a way I can make the blocks bigger? I feel like there's a way, oh, you could use the ZR button, okay, which one's the ZR button? Um, okay, you can do consecutive if you hit the, basically the Z button is what you need to press here. Again, it's hard to say because it's treating this like it's a classic controller, even though I'm using a GameCube controller just because of the way I have to connect uh, GameCube controllers to the Wii U. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what you do. You have to create a stage, and then you can create some other stuff as well. Like, okay, we have that. Let's create a, uh, hold on, a pass-through floor. We're, get, we're going. We're making a very basic kind of battlefield stage, I guess you could say. But instead of just three platforms, let's make it interesting. Let's make uh, let's make multiple platforms. It's not going to be symmetrical, but it doesn't need to be. It's a very basic stage. It doesn't need to be complicated. So there we go. We got that. And uh, hold on, let me. Okay, here we go. We can also create this as well. We, have, we can have a moving platform under the stage. How far does it go? Oh, it doesn't go very far at all. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know what? Because it doesn't go very far, we can maybe create a few more. So if you want to be tricky, you can actually go under here and stay away from the enemy. Not necessarily recommended though because uh, that's really cheap and stupid and it's just kind of a dumb way to fight. Uh, anything else you want to put? Uh, is this water? Oh no, it's kind of a jail cell. Okay, I don't want that. Okay, well you can also create uh, ice blocks, for example. Before I do that, though, let me kind of... How can I kind of remove some of these? Uh, put away. Yeah, I want to put that away. I'll remove some of these blocks and maybe make an ice platform. Now there's some ice platforms on this stage as well, so you definitely want to look out for those. Just for fun, let's also make a spring. 
not the most optimal place for a spring. But maybe you can kind of use that to get to those lower platforms if you want. Or maybe if you fall down, you can still have a saving grace to get back up, maybe. guess that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's also spikes. I don't want to have spikes, though. Actually, just for fun, let's have another spring on top of here. And... Yeah, let's just let's just go with this. Let's go with this. So we're done. Uh, we can hit the start button to test it out. Kind of landed up here with the springs. You can fall down. Oh wow! I can't actually. Can I even get up there? Okay, I can. Got to use a triple jump, but uh, it is possible to get up here. So yeah, you can kind of test it out a little bit, kind of see what you made, and uh, see if it'll work as a stage. Again, this is not a stage I'm actually serious about, so uh, do not worry about that. I'm not trying to go for stage creation of the year or anything. So let's try this down here. Again, why would anyone go down here? It's stupid to go down here, my god. But yeah, that's, that's basically what the stage creator can do. And I know I was kind of harsh earlier saying it was like very, very basic. But, I mean, I guess you can't really create anything too out there, otherwise it would be uh, almost a bit ridiculous. And I think the Smash 4 does do a little better in uh, actually working with these mechanics as well, so... Uh, Smash 4 definitely has a better stage builder, at least in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we'll, uh, we'll definitely play on this stage later. Um, I'm not going to name it that. I'm going to name it... Uh, let me erase all of this. So we're going to call it SS uh, B B space L P. There you go. That's basically it. Just going to go ahead and save it on the Wii. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, you can make some other stages. In fact, there is actually a type of stage I want to make really quickly. Uh, this is actually a type of stage I made a lot when I was actually playing this game back in the old days because uh, there was something that I found out that was very, very helpful in terms of unlocking everything. And when I say everything, I'm mostly talking about these CDs and stickers because, uh... Well, there's a lot of them, basically. So, we're going to make a small stage. Actually, I don't know if I can even do this, because I don't think I have all the proper equipment yet. I may actually need to create a few stages on my own. A couple of BS stages that don't actually, like, won't actually determine much, but, uh... Yeah, I gotta... I think I do, because I need the, uh... What's it called? I need the, um... Treadmills. Or the conveyor belts which I don't think become available like until you uh, unlock certain things. So, what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to create a bunch of BS stages so I can unlock all the stage parts. And uh, once I do, uh, I will immediately get to uh, what I want to show off here. So, be right back, guys. So, after you make five stages, you will unlock the Edit Parts B. Uh, we already unlocked the edit parts A by doing, I believe, uh, yeah, battling on custom stages ten times. And then yeah, you can unlock the custom parts B by making five stages, and you can unlock the custom parts C by making fifteen stages, which uh, hopefully I don't have to make that many, uh, but we're about to find out because I do actually... Uh, need that specific part I need, and uh, I don't know if it's going to be available yet, so uh, uh, let's see if it is. You do get new parts, but it may not be the part you need, because again, there are parts C that you need as well. Uh, so let's see, anything new? Wait a minute, is that it? Yes, I think that is. That is the treadmill that I want. 
Uh, so basically, this is the type of stage we're going to make now. Where... Let's see, you want to do this. You want to have... A treadmill. Going this way. And then... You want a treadmill going this way. Actually, is that right? Actually, that's fine. I can do that, too. And then you also need something basically blocking the way. Nothing that big, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to think how we'll do this. Actually, this might be, this might be good enough. Essentially, though, we want a wall. We want a wall like this. And then you want to have some kind of platform. That might be enough. Now, can I actually make this stage, or do I need more platform? Okay, now that works. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why did I do this? Well, this is where you can create something I like to call a CD factory. I'm not going to give it an actual name because this will be fine. I'm just going to show it off once, basically. Actually, it's not just called a CD factory. It's also called a sticker factory. You can actually use this to grind both of those. So you can, you can do that very, very easily with this setup. And what you want to do is you want to get probably a time match. We'll go ahead and do like a five minute time match or something. Because honestly, who knows what the other computer player is going to end up doing during this time. And, uh... Actually, it's not even going to be a computer player. It's going to end up being a human player. Then you want to go to item switch, and you want to turn off all items except for the sandbag. And of course, you also want to put this on high as well. But anyway, we got that. I might have to go get a Wiimote really quick, but uh, you also want a character. I actually recommend Falco for this, because Falco has an attack that you can very constantly and consistently do this. But uh, I do need to grab a second controller, so hold on guys, just a second. Okay, I have a second character, I just went ahead and picked Fox. So now we're going to hit start. And we're going to go to that stage I just created. So you want to go to melee stages and then to custom stages. I believe this is the one we want. Yes, it is. And what do we do next? Well, first of all, we need to put Fox. Actually, Fox is right where he needs to be. And shoot. Uh, crap, I messed this up. The, uh, the bottom treadmills need to be going a different way, so uh, hold on, guys. Okay, so we're going to try this again. I have the uh, treadmills going this way now, which is exactly what I want. So we are actually ready to go. Uh, but we need to wait for the sandbags to actually get here. As you can see, the sandbags are moving right over to where Falco is. And now we can do the second part of our plan, where I just have to basically hold the A button. And because I'm holding the A button, I will very consistently actually be hurting the sandbag, which will allow him to actually drop stickers or CDs during certain points. Not always will this happen. Sometimes you generally have to wait a bit for it to happen, but regardless, this is a way you can unlock these things, stickers and CDs. So they'll keep appearing like this every now and then, just keep pressing the A button. Uh, you can just mash the A button as well instead of just holding the A button. But again, it's probably you'll probably get more results out of this just because uh, you won't have to keep pressing the button all the time. You can just hold the A button and do this to your heart's uh, content, basically. Uh, but yeah, this is what is called a CD factory. Basically, I used this to get all the CDs in the game. Uh, once I was like, you know, I really want to get all the CDs, I'm not getting them fast enough. What's a faster way I can speed up the process? And this was basically, uh, this was basically my idea, and it actually worked pretty well, considering. I 
like, I don't know, again, like, I got things pretty quickly once I started doing this. And again, a lot of sandbags are going to spawn. You're going to have a lot of sandbags, which will basically up the percentage for all of these things actually appearing. So again, it's a good process for getting CDs and a good process for getting stickers as well. I can't promise you'll get, like, a whole lot of stickers because, again, stickers are known to drop a lot of duplicates at times. And again, there are 700 to get, but, you know, it, it, it is definitely a process. It is a way you can kind of speed it up on your own time without having to just get lucky during a Smash Battle. And even then, like, even if you don't get it in a Smash Battle, like, I mean, if you do get it in the Smash Battle, there's a chance you may not be able to pick it up because it may appear over, like, a long distance and you have to run all the way there and you may not be able to get it in time. This way, you can always be assured that you get it because it'll probably drop from the sandbag. So, that's uh, essentially the process here. So, I really did enjoy making a CD factory when I first got this game. Again, I was like one of the first people to actually uh, get all the CDs in my group of friends because I did do this. Just a very, very quick way to actually do all of this and do it in a very quick and uh, fast manner. Uh, optimally, I guess you would probably want to make the uh, upper platform a bit smaller, just so you don't have to worry about, like, if the CD spawns, it won't, like, spawn all the way, like, above me, and then it'll have to go through the track, and I probably won't be able to get to it in time. This way is just another way you can do it, basically. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the CD factory slash sticker factory. One of the few secrets that I really, really enjoyed about this game is, the, again, because this, this game has a, an amazing soundtrack. I love the soundtrack in this game, and I'm glad that I was able to actually experience it and have, like, all the songs on my actual game. So, again, this was, this was very well worth the, uh... I, I did spend a lot of time getting all the CDs, because, as you can see, I haven't exactly gotten very lucky here. I've only gotten one CD so far. Maybe I actually have a lot of CDs already. Maybe there's just like a few I need and I'm just getting very luck screwed by the uh, randomizer. I have no idea. There may be something else that I'm missing as well. Again, I have no I have no clue. I, I really don't know. I'm pretty sure that uh, like you can't expire a sandbag. Like, sandbags, I think, will continually give you the same percent every single time, regardless of how many times you hit it and everything. Just for fun, though, let's... Wee! 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 Kill the sandbags! Kill them all! Woo! Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're about to run out of time here. I probably spent more time talking about this than I should have, but... You know, I, I think it was worth it. Again, this is a secret I do really like about Brawl. Just how it has, like, a way you can kind of manipulate the item drops to get specific items. So, yeah, let's get rid of all of them. Nobody's going to win, so we have to basically kill ourselves once. I'll give the victory to Fox. I did all that work picking up CDs, and he didn't do a single thing. He probably deserved the battle. He was probably more into the battle than I was, basically. And, uh, oh, we actually got a challenge for this. I didn't expect that. Unlock 50 hidden songs. Okay, interesting. Well, hooray for that. We also unlocked, uh... Oh, the theme of Solid Snake. How interesting. I really wanted Calling to the Night, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, that was the CD Factory. Next, we'll actually do a very quick battle on the, uh, other stage we created. I'll go ahead and make them level 9 CPUs. Why not? I could use the challenge, honestly. And then after this, uh, we'll do one more video where I do some uh, other versus matches against the computer players. And then we'll be uh, pretty much good to go. I'll go ahead and make you a uh, random as well. As far as characters, I'll go ahead and be Ike, just because. And uh, I'm not going to do a 5 minute KO fest, though. We'll just go straight up stock. Uh, we'll do we'll do three lives. Three lives should be plenty. And items definitely. Let's turn the items on all of them. Cause items are fun. Yeah, I love a good item. 
Uh, do I want to do anything else? I don't think so. Let's just go ahead and go. So we're going to go back to the custom stages. And we're going to play on the SSBB Let's Play stage. Which again, isn't a great stage. I fully, fully admit that. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a chance. So yeah, here we go. So now we're going to fight to the death. Already they're putting the hurt on me pretty well. Seem to have the most damage at the moment, so that's not good. Sometimes big stages aren't exactly good for Ike, I feel like. And wow, I've already died. <laughs> Stupid gooey bomb. Oh, but there we go, we have a final smash coming up. Maybe I'll get lucky and actually get everybody trapped in my destructive forces. Well, I got one of them. Actually, did I get... I got Nana. I didn't even get the right Ice Climber. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even get the right Ice Climber. That's that's a failure of a final smash if I ever saw one. That's a failure just because I got the wrong Ice Climber. The Ice Climber that didn't really matter. Heck, even Popo's still alive. I think that's Popo. Maybe it's Nana. Like, Nana, I think, always wears, like, the uh, pink or rose-colored clothes. And I think just in general, like, whenever you have alts, like, alternate colors, like, I know Popo, it, with the traditional Ice Climbers, yeah, Popo is the one you control, uh, the blue one, but, uh, I don't know, I, th I think for other alter alternate colors, like, whenever, like, the red one's in charge, I think that's supposed to be Nana in charge. That's the way it seemed like in uh, Melee, anyway, because whenever you selected some of the other Ice Climber color skins, the expressions on their faces would change to signify that I think you were using Nana instead of Popo. I don't know. I, I think that's the case, anyway. I want to see if I can use the Final Smash and use it better. Nope! Oh, shit! Damn, Suicune! My god, Suicune was not messing around. Well, whatever. We're gonna get a little uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat Donkey Konga action right now. So I'll have to deal with this. Thankfully, that final smash isn't too lethal. There are worse final smashes to be hit by. Boom, boom, boom. Die, Ganondorf. I could not finish them. I want that Pokeball. Wait, do I still have it? Did that get... Did that go to the Ice Climbers instead? Yeah, it did. Oh my god. The Ice Climbers are wrecking right now. They're doing awesome. I'm gonna end up probably missing this. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Okay, gotta actually get the right Ice Climber. There we go. Unfortunately, Donkey Kong's still alive, too, with his uh, second-to-last stock. G Ganondorf just was not feeling it. After Ganondorf got Suicuned, it was pretty much over for him. Oh my god. There we go. Damn, go Ice Climbers. Ooh, and there goes the male one. The male one's gone. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, using the block. Ah! Oh. The blue ice climber was using the blocks to his advantage. He was trying. He was trying to get some work done, but it didn't work. I don't want to use this on Donkey Kong. There we go. I don't have to. Now I kind of want to wait till uh, they're both down here. But I'll just go ahead and use this on DK. I feel like DK will be easier to kill than the Ice Climber. Oh, ooh, he's still alive, though. Ah. Ugh, die! Thank you. Ooh, he, oh, wow, they're actually using the home run bat there, too. I could have gotten in big, big trouble. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. Now I just got to get rid of DK and... Uh, There we go. All right. 
So yeah, that was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. That was actually a pretty cool stage to fight on, honestly. Uh, the only thing I would probably change is I probably wouldn't put the platforms so close to the middle, the top platforms. Because that did kind of make uh, Ike's Final Smash, for example, kind of cheap because he was so close to the ceiling as it was. You gotta be careful and you gotta look out for stuff like that. It's a good way to try to balance your stages so they're not, uh, you know, they're not as annoying to play on, basically. I, I might also, I might have also wanted to create maybe a few other platforms to maybe get to the top platform easier. Because again, when you have like high platforms, you gotta think that, oh, items are probably gonna be spawning on those platforms, so you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, that was honestly kind of fun. That was actually pretty cool, honestly, so. I'm glad I can kind of show that off. Uh, just for fun, uh, just to show one of the other custom stages off. Actually, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. We'll just do a very quick one stock match, and I'll even, uh, now we'll just do one stock. And I'll actually go random myself, honestly. I might do that for the versus mode videos, too. I might just do random uh, character just to kind of show off some other characters I maybe didn't show off in the Let's Play. Uh, but let's. Uh, there's some sample stages. You have Sample, L, Maze, Bath, and Hole. Uh, I don't like Hole. Let's go ahead and take a look at Maze, because Maze kind of incorporates a lot of different ideas, I guess. So we'll take a look at this. Again, just kind of a uh, look at some other stage ideas, basically. As you can see, this is kind of a maze. You can go down here. And again, this is just kind of kind of some of the other ideas you can create with stages like these, honestly. But again, every stage, although some stages might be cool, they may not be the best to battle on. Like, again, this doesn't really seem like this is a great battling stage. Because a lot of the combat's probably either going to take place at top or going to take place down here. Which, I don't know, could be very unbalanced. Again, like I said, you want to be careful of stages with high, high platforms. Because you can very easily KO people by just, like, doing a very well-timed up smash, for example. So again, those are just things you want to look out for. Like, I just completely screwed over Fox right there. Fox was honestly probably doing the best at that point, so... Kinda kinda lame that I did that, but again, that's just... Those are the breaks. Those are things you just gotta look out for. But yeah, these are just samples of things you can create. I remember when I first got this game, one of the coolest stages I actually made that I actually really enjoyed was called Ashley's House. Which, you know, Ashley from WarioWare, uh, there was an Ashley song in this game. So I thought that was, uh, you know, kind of a cool concept. I had kind of a house area with a bunch of different traps and stuff. You know, literally just like kind of a... Oh, damn it. Just kind of a mixed bag of traps and obstacles and stuff like that. I thought it was kind of cool. I would show it off, but I think I deleted it after a while because... Uh, one thing you gotta keep in mind is unless you actually change a few things yourself, custom stages will appear on the random stage selection, and that stage was not the best battling stage, so I got rid of it, just so I didn't actually get that in the randomizer. Uh, but yeah, that's, again, the custom stage feature. It was a unique idea for its time. Like, I definitely do like that it was included. But again, I wish you could get a little more creativity with some of these designs. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me hoping for uh, some awesome feature that this game could have. But again, I'm probably expecting too much just because, like, you know, you can't program a whole lot into just one game, I guess. But still, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I got one more extra video to show you guys, which will, or maybe it might be a multiple extra videos. I don't know, it depends on how much I decide to cover and how much I decide to show off. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing next time, so uh, I'll see you guys then.